So let's say you have a, you forked a repository from somewhere and you made some change, added, fixed a bug or added a feature, and now you uh, you are ready to you are ready to create a pull request, but it shows you that it's out of sync or out of date with the target branch, and that means the original repository that where you forked from has new commits and has new commits where your forked repository doesn't have. So you need to sync these new commits to your forked uh, project or repository and I will show you in a second how to do it. So there's a button sync fork but I'm not going to use it because I prefer doing it from git CLI using, uh, using CLI with git commands and uh, to be honest, I didn't see that option on GitLab as well, so in any anyway, I prefer doing it from uh, using Git commands. Um, so let's first start with um, Git Git Remote V to see what uh, connections we have, and we have only Origin, and the Origin one refers our forked project, so this one, not not the original one but the forked one. So if I for example type git pull it's going to show me it's already up to date. It's already up to date because as I said it refers to my forked repository. It will not pull the changes from the original one. So that to fetch change from original one we need to add upstream. In this case upstream refers as I said to original. So let's maybe open this in new tab and I will just go and copy the HTTPS uh, URL of this project and then come back here. So git remove add upstream this one. So again if we type git remove v to list what we have. Cool. Now we have upstream one and to fetch the change from upstream, simply we should write git remote, uh, oh, sorry, git fetch upstream. Now it fetched all the changes um, from the upstream. I'll just clear it because I can't saw it. My, my laptop monitor is blocking my view right now. So we have the latest change to upstream but still not in our forked repository. So then after this we need to git check out, oh actually we are in the master branch already so let's write git rebase. I prefer git rebase because you can also write git merge but in this uh, for now I will just do rebase and rebase upstream master. Successfully rebased and updated. So now we have all the chains. As you see, something is updated here. If I like, if I type like git log, and you will see the latest change came through um, 2024, and so on. So that means our project is now uh, up to date. So let's now push git uh, git push. and it pushed to our forked project. So if we go back and refresh this page, you see it will, uh, it won't show, uh, it's uh, okay, it shows but this branch is not behind the upstream, so no need commits to fetch, <laughs> enjoy your day. So um, that, that basically proves that our project is up to date. So that's all for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.